New developments in the kidnapping case making national headlines. The 15-year-old girl allegedly abducted by a former teacher in Tennessee. Tonight, we've now learned she has just been reunited with her family after missing for more than a month. This evening, new details from inside that cabin and that teacher now in federal custody. ABC's Kena Whitworth in California. Tonight, Elizabeth Thomas in a safe location with family and friends. We love you and we can't wait to see you. As her alleged abductor, her teacher, Tad Cummins, swept up by the FBI. And because he crossed state lines, he's facing a federal charge in addition to state charges. The former health science teacher accused of having an inappropriate relationship with Thomas. I think he was mentoring her and maybe just one bad decision started him off on a path he didn't mean to go on. Authorities combing through nearly 1,500 leads from all 50 states. The last sighting, March 15th at this Walmart in Oklahoma. Stopping for gas here in Cecilville, California a week ago on their way to a nearby commune. There were all kinds of indications that there's something a little strange going on. The pair asked to leave the commune and returned to that gas station. Caretaker Griffin Barry let them stay in a nearby cabin, but he says he soon got a strange feeling too. You know, that girl won't really uh, look me in the eyes or anything like that. He called 911. Authorities soon set up a perimeter. Police say the pair was inside that cabin right there for two nights. No cell phone service, no running water, no electricity. But police say they did find two handguns. Authorities enlisted Barry to help make their move, knowing the pair trusted him. Police okay. asked you to go kind of wake the couple up. Yeah, the element surprise with help. They didn't want the hostage situation or anything like that. Come and surrendered without incident. 2,500 miles from where they first disappeared. He made a statement to the effect that he was glad it was over. Elizabeth's dad with a simple message. We are really happy to see her back home. We're glad to know she's safe. And Kena joins us live tonight. Kena Elizabeth is already receiving counseling. David, we're told the first thing she asked for was to see her father, but their lawyer telling us even family visitation is limited while she undergoes much needed counseling for this traumatic event. Her father telling ABC News one thing is clear. She does not yet understand the magnitude of what happened to her. David. All right, Kena Whitworth back on the story tonight.